Hi everybody, thanks for watching. I just want to get my thoughts on the Crisis on Infinite Earths crossover five-parter that the CW had over the past few weeks. And I gotta say that I thought it was pretty awesome for what it was. I mean, there's your end game, and then there's your Crisis on Infinite Earths, which, sure, different budgets, different setup, different heroes, different story. So there's a whole lot there that you can't really compare it to. Especially budgets, since uh, each of the parts of the crossover was actually one episode of its own series. So that means budgets have to be stretched and pulled and so on. Not everybody could be everywhere at once and yada yada yada. But I gotta say, for what we got, it was amazing. All the cameos, the crossovers, the guest stars. Uh, from what I could tell, the different tweaks to the story from the original comic to what we have here on the live action TV shows. I thought, well done, very good. I had a whole lot of fun. Had some nitpicks here and there, and questioned a few things, which, I don't know, it's going to have to roll with, because I'm uh, quite a few seasons behind on each of these shows, and even Batwoman, I haven't even touched yet, because I'm still behind on all the other shows. But I gotta say that this is a definite watch for DC fans, comic book fans, and... You can even watch it for free right now on the CW app. Uh, all five episodes. So I'm going to make it just like a movie. With, considering that each episode is about 40 minutes long. Maybe about 50 with those commercials they have in. So I definitely say give it a watch if you can. If any of that stuff seems interesting to you. And then maybe you can continue following the series afterwards. Now that uh, things have changed in their own way. The post-crisis world on those shows. What's going to happen next? So thanks for watching, stay super.